what's up what's up i'm gonna take a walk out here and show you guys uh the patio and the garden which i'm trying to get to now i wouldn't even call it a garden analog calls it a fort or a base he says the only thing missing is uh machine gun nests so with that being said let's have a little tour here a little herb garden here with a strawberry patch got some thyme that is chamomile for some tea that is rosemary all right fort just over the last two weeks, started getting back into here. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't uh, grow my plants from seed this year. Didn't have the time and couldn't do it when I had the time. Okay, so this year we're gonna be growing a bunch of stuff. Uh, tomatoes, some peppers, some corn, let's see. All right, well, I'll show you. This is our three mature blueberry bushes. They have been giving us about five gallons a year. This is our three babies, so they're just starting this year. So maybe next year we can get a little more out of them. Not sure what we're gonna put there or there. I'm gonna put the hammock back up and gotta get this tilled. This, my friends, is our grapevine. Over here, we got our raspberry patch. And then if you take a look back over here, this uh, patch of, uh, I guess it's really grass now. We're gonna plant the corn and I believe it's cucumbers so we can do pickles this year. And then we'll also have uh, beans. And I'll show you what we have growing as it pops up uh, and where it's at. All right, so you can see right here we got our water sprinkler system all set up just in case we need it. But we shouldn't need it this year because I'm going to build a little collection system right here using the old sink and our old storage barrels. Kind of have everything funneled down into one another using the tarps. Got some chicken wire going over the top this year because uh, the ice kind of pulled down some of the deer netting. That was a pain in the ass, especially at the time. I couldn't do anything but watch everything fall apart. And then the birds came in and they ate the first wave of blueberries and whatnot. So it took a, about a week or so to get the the roof all patched back up and then I decided I'm gonna use some chicken wire for support across some of the beams um, in a bunch of different directions and I'll keep that going but uh, mainly it's to uh, make uh, repairs on the deer net quick and simple. I figure if I have chicken wire going all around the outside and through some of the beams then I will not have to worry too much about the ice bringing it all down I think it also because the chicken wire is nailed in to all of the supports that it goes across so it gives a little uh, strength and foundation to uh, the whole assembly as well Still got some piece work to do with some boards, bowing and whatnot to get them supported. So hopefully that lumber prices come down. But this is, uh, this is my fort. <laughs> 